Hello everyone, welcome to the Craft Cousin Hotline. It's your girl Britt, the owner and operator of Crafts by Britt. Once you get on the video, make sure you like the video, comment the video. <clears throat> Let me know, are you a crafter or a business owner? So today is going to be just like the other two days where we get on here and you guys can ask me questions and we'll chit chat back and forth. Don't forget that Brit with the Blanks is our website and everything will be, well, our courses will be 50% off. We'll also have a variety of different size sublimation uh, mystery bags and much more. So I'm going to wait for some people to get on live and then we'll get started. We will wait and see what the algorithm does for us. Hello, hello. Once you get on the video, please like the video, comment the video. Right now we're doing Craft Cousin Hotline where you guys can get on here and ask me questions. If you want to join the actual live on video, all you have to do is hit that little guy with the box in front of him and then I'll bring you on the camera. You can ask me anything you need to know about running a t-shirt business or um, running a craft business. So... Make sure y'all like the video, comment the video so we can get everyone on here. This has been a four-part series, so today is day three. Um, don't forget, March the 23rd at 6 a.m., all of our courses will be 50% off, okay? We will have sublimation mystery bags for $9.99, $14.99, and $19.99, okay? But I'm waiting on y'all, so as soon as we like the video, comment the video, we start getting more people on here, we can get this, get the show on the road. But we coming in slow today. So we'll be on here probably till we'll see how it goes. But my goal is to be on here for a few more minutes. We're going to see if we can get some people on here. But if you would, hit that heart button. Because the more you interact with the video, the more we're going to be able to get people on board, okay? So like the video, comment the video. <clears throat> like the video comment the video let's see if we can get some people on here it's gonna be craft cousin hotline so while we're waiting on people to get on board let's just go ahead and talk about driving traffic to your website some ways that you can drive traffic to your website because i know a lot of you guys are struggling um it's basically the same way that you get your business note uh out there and in the public so one way to drive traffic is going to be through emails you can send out an email when the customer clicks on the product it's going to automatically go back to your website and they can view other products as well um so the second thing is going to be social media but with your social media posts and videos you're going to put a call to action um and let your customers know hey if you're interested in this product go ahead and click the link below and go to our website that's called a call to action you're basically telling the customer what to do okay so let's say like i said number one is going to be sending out emails sending out sms messages to Get your customers back to your website. Number two is going to be call to actions on your social media posts. Hello, Miss Rolanda. Y'all, please like the video, comment the video. It's Craft Cousin Hotline tonight, but I'm just going over ways that you can drive traffic to your website, okay? So number two is going to be the call to actions on your social media posts. And then number three is going to be having like a QR code. If you're doing a pop-up shop, you can have a QR code that goes directly to your website. Um, that'll help feed your Pixel 2. Um, let's see. Another way is to basically just tell people about it. I mean, st stop taking orders in your inbox and make people go and shop on your website. Make them get used to it, okay? Uh, Donna Burke says, love the hair. Hey, Miss Donna. Thank you. Um, tonight we are doing the Craft Cousin Hotline. So once you get on the video, like the video, comment the video. Um, I'm going to be on here for about 30 minutes. So if y'all have any questions about running a t-shirt business or anything that y'all would like to know about running a craft business, Put it in the comment section, okay? Or you can request to join the video. I hope that all is well, Miss Donna. Hope that all is well. And FYI, Miss Donna has taken a couple of my courses too. So um, I'm thankful for her. But yeah, I'm waiting on y'all. Make sure y'all like the video and comment. I'm like, dang, I tried to get on here early tonight. But ain't nobody on. I think it might have something to do with the rain. I don't know. Thank you, Miss Donna. She says same to you. But do we have any questions? Does anybody want to know anything? Anything about driving traffic? Um, this is an interactive live, so I can only give y'all what y'all put in, okay? And I'm waiting 
to see if we can get some more people on here. Like I said, it's a little slow tonight, but the show must go on. So let me see what else that I can um, talk to y'all about until we get some more people on here to have questions. Um, so we talked about emails the other day. We talked about lead magnets. Today we talked about driving traffic. Hey, Shell Innocent. Um, make sure y'all like the video, comment the video. Uh, Rolanda says, I asked a question on, can you put Shopify on Google Workspace? I'm not sure if you can put it on Google Workspace, but I know that Shopify is compatible with Google. So if you want to do Google Search Console and all of that stuff, you can do that with Shopify. Uh, Shell Innocent says, hello. Make sure y'all like the video, comment the video. Anybody that has any questions about Running a craft business or running a t-shirt business, now is the time to ask. Um, you can come on the live and ask. I'm going to go on TikTok with this because y'all be boring over here on Facebook. Y'all don't be wanting to get on the live. I need some people that want to get on that, that ain't scary. On TikTok, they be having all kind of people on them lives. So I need y'all to interact so we can get some stuff done. Hey, Mika Jordan. Donna, <laughs> she laughing. I mean, it's it's the truth. I mean, you know. And then the algorithm is just different over there. So I said that I was going to start doing a little bit more stuff over there on TikTok. And just to get some people and bring them back over here to Facebook or whatever. Snatch up some of that audience and bring them over here to the other side. But, um, yeah, so, yeah. That's that. Um, If you, let's see, what else? Y'all don't have no questions, nothing that y'all want to know. Nothing. Hey, Yolanda Kent. Hello, hello. I'm waiting on y'all to get on. Ask me some questions. Don't forget, y'all, our drop shipping wholesale course. If you want to make custom shoes, notebooks, stuff like this, it's going to be 50% off for everybody on March the 23rd at 6 a.m. But yeah, so. I'm out here chit-chatting with y'all. How was y'all's day? What have y'all been up to? Are y'all still running y'all's business? Um, Yolanda Kent, this is Craft Cousin Hotline. So I'm not, I don't have a specific topic. Y'all are really supposed to be out here asking me questions. But what we did talk about at the beginning of the video was um, driving traffic to your website. What are some ways that you can do that? I said through email or SMS messages. You can do that through uh, call to actions on your social media post. Oh, you can get on Google, um, find my business on Google, or just have a website with your information connected to Google. That's a good way. Um, let me see. Blog post on your website. That's a good way because that's something that I'm trying to get into as well. So those are some ways that you can drive traffic. Um Donna says, are or will you be doing digital tutorials working? What do you mean digital tutorials? Let me know. Because uh, we do have a digital product course, if that's what you mean. Donna Burkett says, working, keeping grants, and crafting in between. I haven't seen you on live lately, Miss Donna. What you been doing? Hello, hello. If you are new to the video, like the video, comment the video. This is the Craft Cousin Hotline, so I'm here to answer questions. Um, Rolanda says, do you do one-on-one -on -one with this? Yes, I do have one-on-ones on the website. I do have one-on-ones available on the website. Those will be discounted as well, um, on the 23rd of March at 6 a.m., okay? But if y'all want, y'all can ask me whatever y'all need to know right now. And if it's within range, then I will answer the questions. Uh, Donna says, yes, that's what I'm talking about. My hands are tied. Bring them kids on camera. Look, you can bring the kids on the live with you. I done had my kids on the live. I done had my niece on the live. You got to do what you got to do, baby, to get to where you want to be. But um, do y'all have any questions about Shopify, drop shipping? Um, sending out emails, growing an email list, social media, let me know. And then here's another thing too, cause this is what I noticed. This is what I've been picking up. Donna says they'll take over. They might get you some sales girl, but listen, this is what I picked up on, uh, watching through TikTok videos and stuff. So a lot of people like are on TikTok and they are trying to get sales for their craft business, but they keep getting other crafters that follow them. 
that's because you're producing content for other crafters. The content that you are producing is not, um, it's not parallel to the audience that you are looking for. So if you get online and you do a craft tutorial, then other crafters are going to follow you, not necessarily the people that buy from you. Does that make sense? Um, Makisha Lee says, what's the best website to go through for an email list? Uh, Shopify gives you 10,000 emails absolutely free every month. If you have a small email list, that's great. I go through Clavio, um, and sometimes I go back to Shopify depending on what's going on. Um, and then you can also use MailChimp. You can use Constant Contacts. You can use one of those if you want, but Shopify and Clavio are my two. Does anybody else have any questions? I see we got some new people on the live. Make sure y'all like the video, comment the video. We only have a few more minutes to go, so let me know. And just to, uh, just to go back over that, Makisha says, what's the best website to go through for email? Uh, oh, for an email list or email to send out emails. For an email list, you can um, just go on any social media platform and put out a lead magnet. And that's how you're going to grow the actual list, the people that you are sending the emails to. So say, for instance, I have an email list of over 7,000 people. But the way I got them was through lead magnets, through my Facebook group, um, and through people purchasing stuff on my website. But to actually store the emails and send the emails, Clavio, they have a first, like, they have a few hundred emails for free to where you can set up a free Clavio account. Um, and then Shopify, they have it to where you get 10,000 emails a month for free. But to actually grow your list, you're going to have to do, like I said, put out lead magnets, offer special discounts. You're going to have to get online and talk to people, video market, and give them valuable information in exchange for their um, email address. You can put a pop-up on your website that'll collect some emails with like a 10% off code. Renata says, hey, Britt, miss you. I miss you too, girl. I miss all of y'all. So today, if you are new to the live, we are going through and doing the part three of the Craft Cousin Hotline. Part three. So, so far, um, what we've discussed, I came in the door giving out information. We discussed driving traffic to your website. I'm sorry for those of you that's already heard it, but you're going to hear it again today. But uh, as far as driving traffic to your website, you can get on Google. You can use call to actions in your social media posts. And then you can also send out emails and SMS messages to get that traffic going. Um, so, and then somebody asked, what's the best way or what's the best website to go through for emails? Clavio, Shopify is what I suggest. But you can also do constant contacts and um, you can do constant contacts and uh, MailChimp if you want to. Shopify has 10,000 emails for free every month. Hey, Felicia. Felicia says, hello. Hello, hello. If you are new to the video, please like the video, comment the video. I need y'all to ask me questions. This is an interactive live. So, I mean, I'm on here doing my job. I'm here. I showed up. So, I'm, I just need y'all to kind of ask me the questions so we can get the keep the ball rolling. Because we running out of time, y'all. I'm not going to be on here for that long. You won't have me for that long. If y'all need help with sublimation, drop shipping wholesale, cricket, um, Shopify, emails, y'all need to let me know now so that we can get into it, okay? Let me know. But overall, I hope y'all had a good day. Today I had a good day as well. Just trying to get on a routine and start getting stuff done, getting back to work in the business. Like, cause I haven't really worked my business either one of them since october so i'm getting back on it now i'm trying to get back on it i'm trying to show up but whether y'all gonna get this information y'all it depends on y'all y'all gotta ask me questions uh rolanda says do you do silhouette no ma'am 
Um, as Makisha says, when you got your Shopify website, what was the best way to get traffic to it? That's what I was just telling y'all. The uh, But out of all of those different ways, the best way has been lead magnets, uh, like we talked about yesterday. Lead magnets are something that you give your customer in exchange for their data. And so what I do is I email my customers and it has certain links that link back to my website. And if y'all want to see how things work, go to my website, BritWithTheBlanks.com. Sign up on that form and then you'll start receiving automatic emails from me and then you can kind of get a glimpse of what I got going on. Hoke said, need traffic to my website. Just to go over it one more time, y'all. Um, number one, you can uh, send out emails or SMS messages to your customers or your potential customers. Number two, you can get on Google, um, add Google SEO to your Shopify. Number three, you can do call to actions in your um, in your social media posts and stuff like that. Like right now, that was a call to action. Hey, you guys, if you want to learn more about how I send my emails, visit our website, BritWithTheBlanks.com, and sign up for that pop-up, and you'll be able to receive automated messages from me. So that is basically like, a call to action. I'm telling you what to do. Um, Brittany R says content for paid ads. Um, paid ads is a good way to drive traffic, but Brittany, we have a lot of newbies on here and I don't want people to kind of just skip ahead and go straight to running ads when they don't have everything else set up. Now you can, but it's not going to get you very far, but yeah, you can run ads and put a call to action on the ad, but that kind of goes under the social media post. Maisha says, I've been, uh, oh, you can run Google ads, you can run YouTube YouTube ads, you can do all of those too to drive traffic. Uh, Maisha says, I've been trying to do mock-ups in Canva instead of making physical products, but have trouble maneuvering around Canva with confidence. Um, so I have some free Canva videos on YouTube that you can go and watch. Um, but to be honest with you, if you're really going to have a business that you want people to take serious, you have to have to invest in professional photos. Like you have to invest in professional photos. Okay. So find your local photographer and, or get you an iPhone and what's called like a product box. Um, I'll pull it out for y'all tomorrow. I'll show y'all my little product box, but you want to do real pictures. Okay. You don't want everything on your website to be a mock-up. But mock-ups are okay, but you don't want your website, you don't want your customers to just see mock-ups. A lot of ways that I was able to actually make money for um, from my business or whatever in my t-shirt business was having good product pictures because I invested in a product box. They like $30 on Amazon, but you want real products. And like I said, the Canva videos are on Brit with the Blanks uh, YouTube channel, okay? Renata says, Britt, I have the settings for Epson 1500 for printing on the A sub row for sublimation for graduation stoves. Hit me up. Let me see. Oh, Renarda, I don't do, like, I'm not into the whole graduation stoves and stuff like that. If I do offer something with my t-shirt business for graduation season, it's going to be something generic. Like, I'm not doing those stoves and all of that stuff. It will be like a generic t-shirt, a generic tumbler that's unisex that I can sell to anybody. Because when you get into doing custom work and them graduation stoves, you might spend two hours on just designing it. When you can have one design and take that two hours to press up 20 tumblers. Take 50 seconds to press a tumbler or to press DTF transfer. So, I'm not really into that kind of tedious stuff and i've always preached that that's just me i mean if you just enjoy the craft then go for it but for me personally maisha martin says i use photo room for professional photos and i have a product box and shadow box as well yeah maisha you want to do actual photos of the products even like get yourself a backdrop and take pictures in front of it uh Brittany r says have you tried pay hip no what is pay hip Brittany? Um, Maisha says, mock-ups is just something I want to learn for myself. I have all these templates that I purchased but don't know. 
Lord. Okay, but don't know how to digitally edit, so I will watch your YouTube videos. What's your name on YouTube? It's Brit with the Blanks. So I don't have a lot of YouTube videos on Canva because I don't really like designing. I outsource stuff, so I'm just keeping it 100 with y'all. I am not that craft mentor that's going to teach y'all about craft projects. I'm going to teach you how to sell and get the money. Um, no, I haven't tried PayHip for ebooks and courses. I go through Canva. Um, I have an AI system and I upload everything on Shopify using a certain app. So I do have a digital, um, well, I call it a lead magnet course, but I do have one of those. But no, I haven't looked into PayHip. But I'll, I'll Google it just since you told me about it. I will Google it and see if it's something that's like beneficial or not. Maisha says, thanks for sharing. My pleasure, Miss Maisha. But yeah, y'all, if you new to me, then that's the thing. Like, I'm all for the shortcuts, okay? Like, I'm all for the shortcuts. I don't want to do a lot of work on one project at all. Because that can be making, you could be doing something to make some bigger money. So, I, like I said, I do cricket projects. I do sublimation. But that's not... To me, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm real selective on what I do. Tanisha says, hello, finally made a live. Congratulations, Miss Tanisha, and welcome to the family. Um, but yeah, let me know if that makes sense, y'all. Like, because I know they have craft coaches and craft mentors that strictly talk about doing craft projects, but it's just not me. And I can't fake it. I, I'm not interested in certain projects. Because I was talking about that earlier, like, the big head fans and stuff that y'all doing for graduation, like, I would never. If I can find somewhere to outsource those and get them made, then I would. But me personally, printing everything out, cutting everything out with the Cricut machine or with one of those corner cutters, uh, then you got to glue the stick on, then you got to glue the back on if you want to, and then if you want it, you got to laminate it. That's just too much work for a little bit of money. All that time, you can make a tumbler and sell it for $35. Like, versus making $5 for one item. Because tumblers only take 50 seconds to print. So, yeah, that. And then I think the graduation stoves, like I said, all that custom stuff, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Like, Mother's Day, my plan is to, like, kind of really launch the business off. But I already have a shirt design that I want to use. And I have a couple that I might offer on the side. So like this, I would have a bunch of these transfers. And this will be the only transfer that I offer. That's my goal. Because I've been working on my um, t-shirt business again. Once I started working with crafters and stuff like that, then I really got away from doing the t-shirt business because this kind of took over. And so, now that I'm getting back in, I'm going in a different way. So, I went in doing all custom stuff. I wasn't thinking on this level, but when you know better, you do better. Uh, Maisha says, can you make a tumbler if you don't sublimate? Or since I don't sublimate, would it be best to outsource for prints? You can buy tumbler uh, sublimation transfers. But we also... Where is that cup at that I did? Hold on. So they have UV wraps if you want to get into doing tumblers and stuff like that, which this came as like a sticker with a carrier sheet. As you see, I'm scratching it. This is stronger than 651 vinyl. I wouldn't recommend you soak it, but if you want to do tumblers and you don't have a sublimation printer, UV DTF wraps is where it's at. And all you got to do is just wrap it around the cup. So if, say for instance, you want to offer glass cups or glass coffee mugs, you can go and use the vendor. If you're in our dropship course, our DTF vendor has the UV wrap. So you can order a custom 2024 graduate UV wrap and you can go get you some Dollar Tree, uh, some mugs from the Dollar Tree and you can put the UV wrap on the mugs from the Dollar Tree. You don't even have to be a high dollar mug. You could just make money like that. 
but you can buy Tumblr wraps from other people. Donna Burke says, I walked off. Can you show the transfer again? Oh, let me see. And it's not the exact design that I'm going to do, but I am planning on getting on it before March ends. But this is one, and I'm looking for something similar. But the only thing that I don't like about this transfer is it's so big. But that came from the U.S. vendor. I got all of these. I got this one from the U.S. vendor, too. <clears throat> and they were $3.50, and I didn't have to have a gang sheet or anything. Um, Maisha says, I do UV decals for glass and plastic tumblers and mugs. Was just wondering about the big metallic tumblers. Yeah, if you want to do those, then I would definitely, I mean, you. some people sell tumbler wraps for like $2. Some people sell it for like $3. Um, truth be told, I have some sublimation transfers on my website, but I hate shipping. That's why I don't market physical products like that. I just hate shipping, y'all. I'm not going to hold you. It takes me a while to ship. I hate it. But yeah. I mean, you can outsource, but just know that like when you're dealing with sublimation, it's permanent. So if you mess up, you can't go back and redo it. So if you do order a tumbler transfer, I would probably order two of each kind. I mean, two of the same kind, just in case you mess up one and you can redo it. <clears throat> Donna says, beautiful. Thank you. This is another one that I got to y'all. From the vendor they already had the design i didn't have to buy the design another one from the vendor and y'all this is the dropship course where you can gain access to this stuff this is a transfer that i got custom made let's see Maisha says, okay, got it. Thanks. Thank you as well, Miss Maisha, for joining us. Do we have any questions? Shopify, emails, um, anything that y'all need to know, social media, sublimation, cricket, let me know. Let's chit chat. I was supposed to be out here at 8 30, but I'll give y'all until 8 40 to ask me questions, okay? 8.40, and then we'll go into our positivity session, and then we'll end the live. Even though this was a small crowd tonight, like, I really enjoyed getting on here. And it's like, for me, it's about just getting back into the motion. Brittany R. says she loves the dropship course. Thank you, Brittany R. Dropship and wholesale course for crafters, like, that's one of my most sold courses. And I really think it's because I kind of thought of all ends of it and, like, just, you know... I don't know. Like, I just kind of put a lot into it and really gave it my all. And that's been my number one seller. Hey, Miss Sherry. Sherry says, hello. Donna Burkett says, I sent you a message in Messenger. Okay, Miss Donna. I got a lot of messages to respond back to, y'all. <clears throat> like I said, the past few months, they just been rough. They've been beating me down. Beating me down. But I've been surviving and thriving. Thank God I don't look like what I've been through. Besides, like, I got a little double chin again because I've been eating cheeseburgers and stuff. Y'all know I was working at a fast food place, so I was in there eating. I got a coffee addiction. So, aside from that, I don't look like what I've been through, thank God. But, yeah, so I plan to respond to everybody's messages. I was looking at that the other day. Like, there's over 100 unread messages in that thing from when I've been out. But, yeah, so do we have any more questions by... It's 8.38, so that means we have two more minutes, you guys. Two more minutes to ask questions. Two more minutes. And then, like, also another thing. I know I've been on emails a lot this week, but look. If you grow your email list, you can grow your YouTube channel. You can grow your TikTok channel. You can grow your Instagram because you can send them links and stuff to that type of content. Um, and then they'll follow you from there, okay? So you can send all of that through email, and that'll help you grow your other platforms. Maisha says, this was helpful. Always trying to better myself in this area. I live in, I, uh, I love, oh, I love, uh, I live, oh, this area I live, the market is overly saturated here in L.A. Girl, you live in L.A. Do you know how big L.A. is? You got to get out of that mindset because can't nobody in L.A. do it like you can. Los Angeles is huge. And one thing about it is like me personally, I feel like I don't have a lot of followers and a lot of shoppers 
here in the DFW area. Now, for my t-shirt business, yes. But as far as my crab cousins and stuff, y'all live all over. Y'all are scattered all over. Like, I've literally shipped physical products to all over the U.S. Um, but <clears throat> don't ever just contain yourself to one space. But you live in L.A. I'm sure you have not met everybody in L.A. Another thing, too, y'all. If you really want to start getting to out-of-state orders, get on Etsy. I, I can't believe I forgot about this. Get on Etsy and make an Etsy. And what you do is you can have an Etsy and a website, right? So when somebody buys from your Etsy store, you can put a QR code in that uh, package that's scannable. Have them scan that QR code and they'll go back to your website and then they'll see your pop-up with the 10% off offer. They're going to put their email in and voila. You got customers coming back to your actual website. Another thing, too, it's like y'all, um, when I was doing my t-shirt business a lot, I was utilizing the buy and sell groups as well. So that's another thing. Like, you can get in a buy and sell group from Canada. That's how I started getting orders out of state for my t-shirt businesses. I got in these buy and sell groups. I got into these black business groups. Like, social media is a powerful tool. Especially a couple of years ago. Facebook done died down. But, I mean, yeah, use this stuff. TikTok, I mean, people going viral for stupid stuff all day on TikTok. But just remember, whatever you go viral for, you're going to have to keep producing that to keep the crowd. <clears throat> but, yeah, no, Maisha, it's not oversaturated. Don't even tell yourself that. You ain't met everybody out there in L.A. You just got to get out and meet new people. Get out of your circle. Because that's what I had to do. Like, I had so much beef when I got into, like, transitioning from being a mentor to, um, from transitioning from being a, just making t-shirts to being a mentor. It was so much issues, so many issues with people. Because, I mean, when you start playing with people money, like, I came in the game and took a chunk of some people money. So, when you start taking people money out their pocket, they don't like you. And then they start spreading, like, these crazy rumors and stuff about you. So, people in my city didn't like me. I ain't care. I still got online and did what I needed to do, and I got my crowd going. So just just know, it's a billions of people in the world, and it's gonna be a lot of no's. But for every no comes a yes. Okay, so just stay focused, stay the path. If you tell yourself negative things like that, you you're never gonna go and push yourself to the ultimate limit. If I say, well, you know. It's so many craft mentors in Fort Worth. It's just no spot for me. Then I would never be where I am now. Now I have over 20,000 followers because I got on here and opened up my mouth, put my foot down, and actually went through the process so I can speak with authority. I send emails. That's how I can speak with authority. I built my own Shopify. I'm building my own another Shopify for myself. I built other people's websites. You just got to get out there and get your feet wet. And then, like I said, start getting people from out of state. Do we have any questions? Any questions, y'all? Because we're about to go into our positivity session. We're going to go into our positivity session. And so, my positive word for you all is going to be never feel bad for what's right. So, people will do something to you and then, you know, you might respond or... Um, people will be, um, upset with you about a decision that you made. As long as you know in your heart that you made the right decision, as long as you know in your heart that you coming from a good space, don't feel bad. Okay. Don't feel bad about being right. Don't feel bad about having boundaries. Okay. That's my positive word for you all or my positive piece of advice. So what I need now from y'all is a few people on the live. I need y'all to say something positive to me. Or you can say something positive to yourself. Or you can say something positive to anybody else on the live, okay? So, <clears throat> if you're new to me, we always do positivity sessions. So, um, let's take two minutes. It's 8.44 where I am. Let's go into 8.46. Depending on, it might be 8.47, okay? So, you can put a Bible verse. You can put a positive quote. You can put a piece of advice. Let me know. And this is your time to shine, okay? And um, I look forward to these because sometimes y'all give me good advice and y'all give me good quotes and stuff to think about before I go to sleep. I know it's late, like probably on the East Coast is 944 
here in Texas it's 844 and on the west coast it's about 644 so everybody's kind of at the point of winding down for bed so let's send each other off with positive thoughts and positive vibes okay Donna Burke says you know my motto is stay focused on whatever you're trying to do amen Miss Donna uh Brittany says it's training prosperity in the group oh oh it's raining <laughs> I'm sorry, Brittany. Brittany says it's raining prosperity in the group. Amen. Amen. If I surround, uh, I be wanting to sing y'all, but I can't. But I was thinking about that Beyonce song where she said, if I surround myself with positive things, I'll gain prosperity. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. You keep rubbing shoulders with positive people and people on the same path. We, we, we can't fail. Uh, Gabrielle says, you know, uh, your knowledge sharing and positivity is very inspiring. Thank you, Miss Gabrielle. I appreciate you all. Y'all inspire me every day as well. Um, Maisha says, I send blessings and favor to us all. Thank you, Miss Maisha. Sherry Jeffcoat says, speak life into self. Know that the power of life is in the power of the tongue. This will be your winning season. Amen. Amen. Okay, so y'all, it's 8.45. We got one more minute. So if you have not submitted your positive word for the night, this is your time to do so. This is your call to action, okay? Don't forget that March the 24th, 23rd, my birthday is actually on the 24th. So March the 23rd at 6 a.m. on our website, BritWithTheBlanks.com is going to be on sale. If you want to get into drop shipping, if you want to get into Shopify, if you want to get into sending out emails, all of that good stuff, I have something for you on the site, okay? Um, lead magnets, if you want to get into that, how to add it to your Shopify store, all that good stuff. Um you can get that as well on the website. I'm trying to see because somebody gave me a, a website to go look at. But I'll go back on here and look. Jackie Mac Lewis says you can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. Amen. Thank you, Miss Jackie. Anybody else? Anybody else? Cause it's time to end the live. I had a blast with y'all tonight. Tomorrow is gonna be the last night. So if y'all got a craft cousin that needs some help, tomorrow is going to end the craft cousin hotline, okay? Then y'all going to see me on TikTok. I'm just playing. I'm not going to TikTok. Well, I, am, I am going to TikTok, but I'm going to still be over here on Facebook. I'm going to try to go get the people from TikTok and bring them over here. So we can have a real long form conversation. But I enjoy our little chit chats, y'all. I love y'all and I appreciate y'all and I will see y'all tomorrow evening at around 8 p.m. CST. Peace out. If I can end the live, I always have an issue with this. Bye, y'all.